Hey guys, this is Danny's Auto Repair. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video on this launch cred, credder, credar battery 5001. So this is how it looks, guys. This is a uh, OBD and also a uh, battery uh, you know diagnostic tool. So it says the CRB5001 is a professional tool that integrates battery detection and vehicle diagnosis. It supports a wide range of battery types and the detection is simple and accurate. At the same time, it supports the basic function detection of ABS, SRS, automatic transmission and engine as well as the commonly used reset functions. And these are all the, the features guys. Battery health test, start system test, charging system test, test report, applicable battery types 12 volt lead acery battery gel battery and AGM battery supported battery standards CCA BCI CA MCA JIS DIN IEC EN SAE GB and uh, it says here ABS SRS automatic transmission and engine reset oil reset brake, reset bleed, reset TPMS, reset ETS, reset BMS, full OBD2 diagnostics. So this will work on any car guys. Very good. Parameters, specifications, LCD 4 inch 480 by 800p. OBD2 interface input voltage 9 volt slash 18 volt. Storage temperature minus 20, 20 Celsius, 70 Celsius. Uh, the dimensions is 159 by 88 by 37 millimeters. Net weight is 500 grams. So this is it. I believe this is their newest uh, battery tool and OBD tool. So this is it guys, very nice tells you a lot of information so let's open it up <clears throat> and check it out guys I just got the I just got this today and the guys that launched were very nice to send me this Comes with the instruction booklet. So, this is the uh, instruction booklet. Tells you more about the uh, product here. All the features, all the buttons. It has different languages. Spanish, French. So, I believe Korean. And I don't know what those other two are. Maybe Japanese or something. And this other language here. Maybe Russian. Yeah, guys. So, let's check it out. It has this uh, cable here. This is uh, for the battery to check the battery. As you can see, it has those pins there. I guess this screws on to the uh, to the machine here. So yeah, there it goes for the pins, and that's the other one for the uh, OBD. So it's very nice. It's not too big. It's not too small. Perfect size nice little screen feels solid not cheap it's like a hard plastic or rubber feels like rubber but it feels good so this is it let me see what this is here I 
Okay. I believe that's for the uh, memory card. And I believe that's to charge it, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I believe that's for the charging port. And I believe that other slot is for a memory card. Very nice. So, it also brings a USB cord to charge it. Or you can also transfer information from the machine to the computer. Yeah, I believe that's what it is for the, to, to transfer uh, information to the computer. So, these are the cables for the uh, USB, I mean for the uh, OBD. Plug it into the car and that goes to the machine right there. And this is the one for the battery, guys. So this is pretty neat. It's like two in one. You have a uh, diagnostic tool and also one for the battery. One for the car, one for the battery. So it's not bad at all. You get two for the price of one. I'm also going to put a link in the description to where you can find this at in Amazon. So... Let's, uh, I'm going to plug this in now and check it out. Check out some of the features that it has, guys. So this is easy to connect. Connect it right there. Just like that. And then you screw these little pins in. So here we go. And it has a long cord. The cord is pretty long, guys. Wow, look at this. It's nice and long. Very nice. Look at this. This cord reaches all the way across. Look at this. Wow, very good. Usually there's uh, some scanners that have the short cord, but this one has the long one, so that's very nice. For the uh, for the port to uh, connect this machine here. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I plugged it in to the uh, OBD port. So just gotta press the power button here. There we go. Professional diagnostic tool. Here we go. And it's touch screen also, which is pretty cool. English. See, it has, uh, these are the different uh, languages here. Portuguese. Polski. Italiano. Deutsch. France. Spanish. English. And I don't know if that's Korean or Chinese. And there's another one here, which I think is Russian. And I don't know what these two are, but they're probably, I don't know, Korean or Asian, one of those. Okay, next step. I chose English. Select time zone. So I live in the U.S., so... New York, right there.
network settings uh, let's see wow I'm outside so I don't know let me see I don't know if this will work without it should work without a without the Wi-Fi Wow, so I guess I guess I gotta connect this to the uh to the Wi Fi. Let me see something. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to connect this to Wi Fi because I guess it works with Wi Fi. So I'll be back guys. I guess I'm going to have to use my uh I'm going to try to connect it to the Wi-Fi off of my phone and I come right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I wanted it to um check out another one of the functions here of the many ones that it has. Um I want to check the um automatic transmission fluid temperature right there press OK and that's the temperature right there of my uh, transmission fluid 77.12 degrees Celsius and then it has a little graph here that you can also also click on and it comes up right there guys and that's all live data see it's moving so that's very nice another nice feature of this uh, OBD scanner here and you can test uh, multiple things at the same time see like I marked the automatic trans transmission fluid and I could just uncheck it you can check uh, let's say a cylinder misfire Okay. See that's the graph bar right there. All live data. If it has a misfire, it'll show up right there. So this is very nice guys. It has all these uh all these features here that you can click on and check anything on your car. Your catalytic monitor, coolant temperature. I did that one earlier. I'll check it again so you can see here. Has a lot of nice features. Okay, coolant temperature. It says 80 degrees Celsius right there. Right there, guys. In the middle is 80 degrees. All right. And it's also showing you up here. 80 degrees. You see it right there on top? So this is very nice, guys. And it also tells you uh, about the fuel pump. EGR. Check the EGR. Okay, EGR says not available. 
So let's go back. Check out a different one. Let's check engine speed. Engine speed is six. Okay, it's going like up and down, I guess. 668.75, 667. Because my car is not running right now, so it's just uh, parked. And it also, right there, you can see the uh, graph. Let me, let me hit the gas, see what it does. There we go. So you can see the RPM going up. So now it's going to go back down. That's very nice. Very nice. I like that. Okay, so let's go back. So let's see what else we got here. We got all these different... Uh, Engine speed, EVAT monitor, fuel pump, fuel system one, fuel system two, fuel system monitor. Let's go there. Oh, wait, I got out. Fuel system monitor available. Okay, it just says available, so I guess it's available. So let's go to um, Fuel system two. Wait, <laughs> I didn't want to check all of those. Hold on. I just want fuel system two. There we go. Unused. Okay. So let's go to fuel system one. See, it even has uh, cylinder one misfire, cylinder two, cylinder three, like that. It's very good. C D E F. Okay, it says closed. CL. So, like I said, guys, uh, this has a lot of different uh, options here. You can check multiple things. And um, let's go to fuel pump. Okay, it says fuel pump, fuel pump on. All right, slash H. I believe maybe H is, means high. So let's go back. So yeah, guys, just wanted to show you a few of the things that it does, and as you can see, it does a whole lot. So you cannot beat this. And like I said, you also get a uh, 
a battery monitor you can test your battery with that the battery cables it um, tests out your battery to see if your battery is good and um, if it's uh, charging good the alternator the cranking also it checks all that so you cannot go wrong all right guys so I'll be right back with more uh, more tests let's go to this one the battery let's go to the battery health test let's see Okay, it says turn off all electrical components, lights, radio, air conditioning. Confirm all electrical components have been turned off. Yes. Next. Uh, okay. I have to um, plug this into the to the battery now. I have to take it out of the. Let me see something. I'm going to have to plug this in and plug it to the battery. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I connected it to the to the battery. So let's go back here. See what it says now. Okay, now it's telling me the uh, cold, cold cranking amps from the Battery Council International. So let me see the cold crank, the cold cranking amps is 750, no 600, right there. So I'm going to type here 600. Okay, next. So it's doing a battery test now. And the battery is 100% good. Battery voltage is 12.27. Measure starting current, 705 cold cranking amps. Input rating 600 cold camp cold cranking amps internal resistance 4.24 ohms and uh, battery status good battery operation okay next test upon turning the engine on select next to continue testing. Start the car engine. Let me start the car. Okay, test is now complete. Turn the engine off. Start duration for five forty five twenty seven MS. Start voltage is 11.33 volts, and it says tips. Starting voltage normal within specs. So that means everything is good. Let's go to next. On low test. So this is testing the load of the battery now. So far everything is good. Now let me raise the RPM. OK. 
Okay, go to next. Well, it says to hold to hold the RPM down and I didn't because I got out the car. But I know it's good. The charging voltage is too low. That's cuz I didn't I didn't keep the uh the RPM up. But um let's exit out of here. We know everything is good. And that's it, guys. So, I definitely recommend this uh OBD2 with the uh battery analyzer here as you can see works very good and um, like I said you get two for the price of one you get a uh, battery tester and an OBD2 diagnostic tool at the same time and this works with Wi-Fi guys so it's very good to have this guys alright so I recommend this to anybody um, I will put a link in the description to where you guys can find it in Amazon and um, this is it Creedar battery by launch so like share subscribe and God bless guys